What's going on everybody? I apologize for the wind noise. I'm trying to <laughs> cover up the speakers here best I can. Um, we've had really bad weather lately. I'm just trying to get some content banged out. And this is the nicest day we've had for a while, which it's beautiful today, but windy. So what we're doing today is you can see how filthy my exhaust tips are. These are this is the Borla S-Type. I have an install video and a sound video if you guys wanna go watch those. Uh, this exhaust is not that old. Put it on this summer, and you can just see it's disgusting. I got, I mean, I had a pressure washer up to this, and uh, it's not really coming off. I've gone through two drive through car washes, and it's gross. So I've seen a couple other guys, um, and I know a couple guys at work, but I've seen a couple guys on here on YouTube uh, using like the simple green on like their chargers with the chrome tips. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot on the black chrome Borla tips here and uh, see if it can work any magic. So here it is. I've never used it before. It was about five bucks at the hardware store. It is concentrated. You're supposed to mix it with a little bit of water. It has like the dilutions down here, but I don't have a bucket to mix with and I want full strength. So we're gonna just go ahead and spray it a little bit and then I'm gonna use a microfiber here and see what happens. So we got mud and crap on here from going through fields and mud bogs and rock concerts and you name it. They say you're supposed to let it sit for a minute, but I want to see just how well it works if I just right away. Uh, of course, it's all mirrored, so it's going to be hard to see, but it's not perfect. Granted, I haven't, you know, let it soak or anything yet. You can still see some of the mud got caked on. You can see the spots from it, but at least you can see a reflection of the pavement in it. It's bringing some of the shine back. As where up here, it's just dull. Can't even see it says Borla. All right, both tips soaking in it right now. Don't worry, it's biodegradable. All right, so once I doused it, or both tips I should say, with this, I let it sit for a few minutes and a lot of it kind of dripped off and actually started to dry out. So I hit it one more time. I probably let it sit five minutes um, the first time and then I sprayed it a second time just to get it wet again. And then I went at it with the microfiber. Um, it's not perfect, but it did get a lot better. Uh, and a lot of this, you know, some of it's probably my fault because I mean, I have, this is the first time I've done this. Uh, other than that, I've just tried to pressure wash them. So, I mean, there's been mud on there and obviously the exhaust gets hot. So it's kind of baking the mud a little bit, dirt, whatever, road debris. Um, but here's the result. I mean, you can see, hopefully, it's a little bit, you know, it's dull here kind of on the tip, like the very tip, but then it gets, you know, shiny. It, this is a way better. Um, my only gripe, is and i don't know if you can see it or not it's hard to pick up on camera because of the coating but you can see these like metal or these like brown flakes i believe that is the coating uh, starting to kind of peel a bit and i don't know why but this tip seems okay but on the driver's side and, and it was like this when i got it in the box um the, the coating's peeling a little bit on the tip as well so We'll see what happens. I'm a little disappointed just because, you know, it's, it's not like I'd actually take this truck through a mud bog. I mean, it's just whatever dirt or mud flung up from driving through whatever, you know, I'm, I wash my truck, you know, at least once a week. Um, you'd think for a thousand dollar stainless Borla kit, they'd have a little bit better coating. But again, I can't complain too much because I'm not sure what their warranty is. I'll have to check. I don't know what it is on the coating. And of course, any type of coating is gonna be, you know, susceptible to stuff like this. I had uh, black ceramic coated Vance and Heinz exhaust on my Harley, got caught in the rain a few times, and it was never the same again. It was just all stained and blued and brown. So I may reach out to Borla at some point uh, after I look up what their warranty is and see if there's any sort of uh, warranty or coverage on this kind of thing, especially since it came that way. I think I actually have video evidence too <laughs> when I installed it. There's a couple clips where you could kind of see this, but I wasn't super concerned at the time because all you really see is the outside anyways, and you really got to get down to look at it to see this. I'm not going to make a big deal right now, but being the exhaust has only been on for, I don't know, four months max at this point. Um, I was hoping to see a little bit less wear. This hasn't even seen a Minnesota winter yet with salt. so. 
Can't wait to see what that brings. So um, just something to keep in mind if you're looking at the black tips. Obviously it looks great with a black truck. Don't look at how dirty it is. I already washed it today. Don't buy a black truck. It's like a mirror. White truck's easier to keep clean. <clears throat> Unless you got a dirt road, but. Uh, <laughs> but either way, I mean, this is a lot better. Heck of a lot better. You can see reflections out of it again. So I highly recommend it. And you know, I kind of doubt it, but you know, maybe if you add water, it'll work a little better. You'd think it would work better in the more concentrated, uh, you know, form, but who knows? Um, I will put this in the uh, video description, link for it if you want. Otherwise you can pick it up at like hardware store or Home Depot or something of that nature. Um, it's actually like a kitchen cleaning, all purpose cleaner, but everyone loves it for their exhaust tips. So now we're gonna move on to what I've been waiting for for a while. And I know it's stupid, but you know, I'm not gonna make a separate video for it because I realize it is stupid. I'm just gonna kind of throw it in with this video, but these were on back order since I got my truck uh, in January of 19. And they're finally in the all season rubber mats because I live in the great state of Minnesota where they like to put uh, more salt down than you can imagine. And you can still, like it's all salted up from last winter. I've, I've vacuumed this, you know, I haven't necessarily shampooed it. I know I can, but um, some people like the carpet mats. I prefer the rubber just cause they're easier to clean. Obviously they hold water better and mud and all that crap. So um, I'm actually gonna post links in the video description if you want for the carpeted ones and the all seasons crew cab and uh, quad cab. If you're interested, these are the OEM Mopar ones. And I have to say, I am really glad that someone finally used their brain and you know, they got like these snaps that hold them down because <laughs> any older vehicles, um, the floor mats just slide all over the place. This is nice, you know, it's anchored, but you can lift it up quick to get to the ram bin. You know, it's good. So we're gonna rip these out quick and throw the rubber ones in. <laughs> uh, they do come with instructions, but I mean, they're floor mats. Hopefully they're not that hard to put in, right? Here's the interesting thing. I thought the rear was one piece, it's actually two, but it overlaps. So once you get it kind of in place, and these ones just use the same uh, little clip anchors that the carpet does. So now we're gonna do this one and it should just kind of overlap this ridge over that one. Like so. I'm assuming that's probably the most important part of the directions, honestly. There we go, looks nice. Now, normally I'm, uh, you know, I'm not against a Husky liner or a WeatherTech, but um, in my opinion, if if OEM makes something, then I try to go for that because typically it's just as good a quality. And honestly, like you can see, they were in the box for a bit, so they're not laying perfectly flat, but I mean, I'm sure over time they'll sag down a bit. Um, my my WeatherTechs in my 08 Ram even had the same thing. They, they were not a perfect fit due to, you know, shipping and all that, but, um, I think it was 150 bucks for front and rear on these, which, you know, you're gonna pay 200 bucks for front and rear uh, weather techs. So, I mean, I just went with the Ram ones. And like I said, I don't know about weather techs or Huskies or, or any other brand, but you know, clips, quick, easy, boom, Ram box. Good old warning sticker. In other words, make sure that you're, uh, <laughs> gas pedals and get stuck down and that you can actually push your brake pedal down make sure the floor mat is not interfering with your pedals get out of there it's a good old gerber <laughs> Nice. That'll hold. It's got a nice ridge around them too, so it'll hold any moisture, which is good. Now this is optional, but um, it kind of helps hold it in place. I recommend putting the floor mat under this piece, and to do that, you're just gonna pull straight out and then slide forward. You can see there's a little tab here that slides in, and you can just kind of tuck it in back there, slide. This is where your jack is, by the way, if you ever need it. Put these tabs in 
And then there's a little uh, pecker here with a clip that have to line up with a little hole and a big slot there. Just push, good to go. Last one. Should have vacuumed it first. Actually started vacuuming it and then I ran out of quarters. So I'm gonna have to go do it some more after, but I'm just gonna throw them in for now. All right, here we go again. Not the perfect fit, but again, most likely due to packaging. Um, I've seen multiple trucks, including my own. Stuff like, look at this bed liner. It's a factory bed liner, but it's bowed up right here and on this side. Like they made the thing about a half inch too wide and they ship them stacked and then jam them into vans and trailers and crap. And you know, they're not as thick as uh, old school bed liners are either. So they're, they're almost more rubbery. I mean, they're still plastic, but more rubberized. So they really, they don't like to go back into shape. You know what I mean? So anything that has to get packaged, you're more than likely, um, you know, not gonna have perfect, but pretty close and I'm still happy with them. So again, make sure you got clearance for your pedals. Make sure you can still mash her. Gotta be able to floor it, right? All right, we're all done. I don't know why, I just love how open this back flat floor is now without that hump. And these new uh, body style crew cabs, don't quote me on this without me looking it up. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm 99% sure that these new body style crew cabs actually have one inch more leg room than a mega cab does. The only difference is that the mega cab, you can recline the rear seat, which I know um, on like the Laramies, you can get the optional uh, crew cab reclining rear seats, but they do, uh, I think they only go back eight degrees as where a mega cab is somewhere between like 15 and 20 degrees. Plus you get that uh, extra storage area behind the seats on the mega cab. If this video helped you out, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more videos like this. Check me out on Facebook at Tony the Truck Guy and have a great day.